could do a quick screencast to help explain the difference between fundamental and realized niche. Um, I'm going to use Habitat as an example. And before I start, I want you to realize that Habitat is only part of a species niche. This niche is the role an organism plays in its community. And that can include things like when it eats, what it eats, what eats it, when it sleeps. Um, where it lives is certainly a part of that, but it's just one part of it. And to help you remember this, it might be helpful to think of the habitat as being the address of the organism and the niche being the job of the organism. And this uh, screencast includes a bit of nature art and thus the nod to Bob Ross. So once upon a time in a tree, we've got species A. And species A happens to be a red bird that can live in the bottom branches of trees it can live in the middle branches, the top branches. It's a pretty versatile bird. It's pretty happy no matter what height in the tree it lives. We have another species, species B. Species B can really only live in the top branches of the tree. Let's say species B happens to be a slower species and there are cats in the area that might jump up and eat them if they hang out on those lower branches. Now if species A and species B try to occupy the same area, species B has no choice but to live in those upper branches. Because if it lives on the lower branches, it's going to get eaten by the cats. Species A could live in the higher branches, but it's two species A's advantage to occupy only those short branches, or lower branches rather, because avoiding competition is actually helpful to species in nature, because uh, competition is risky, takes a lot of energy, so when given the opportunity, species will avoid it. So to look at it this way, species A could live in the upper branches or the lower branches of the trees. And that would be its fundamental niche. That would be the whole range of conditions that fit its niche. However, due to competition, over here on this side of the screen, species A only occupies these lower branches. And that we would call its realized niche. So fundamental niche is the whole range that it could occupy whereas realized niche is just what it actually ends up occupying because of competition. And that's pretty much it.